Okay, cyber terrorism is one of the criminal activities aided by computer systems. Identify three other types of computer crimes that are likely to occur in a school or university. Oh. Electronic eavesdropping, um, hacking, aka forced access. Electronic eavesdropping, hacking, and um, school or university. School or university. What will happen in a school or university? You could say fishing, but they might want to steal, like, you know, your your credit card information on all of them. Oh, fraud is a real big one. Fraud. Fraud. I like for fraud instead of hacking. Hacking is a real broad term, so instead of putting a broad term like that, I'll put a home broad computer fraud right so fraud is like you know they will they will put in their fake marks or some kind of thing like that or hack the system or something change their marks change their grades i right, discussed three strategies that may be implemented to prevent computer crimes nine marks all right so one firewalls a firewall and b installed to prevent unwanted traffic from getting into a network mm. example um unknown computers connecting to a server um next one would be encryption the files stored on the servers can be encrypted um, so that even if they are stolen or accessed they cannot be read and three would be um, anti-malware that way if malware is, um, is trying to install itself on the operating system the anti-malware would discover it and raise an alarm yep Firewalls, encryption, and some other way. Um, they, you could also put usernames and passwords. Usernames and passwords are usually straightforward to install. Also, add usernames and passwords. You could add that one into as a possible answer. In order to protect the private information of all employees, the Human Resources Department of an organization has created a policy for its employees to follow when handling private information. Outline three privacy protection guidelines that this policy should contain. Jeez, the writing. The amount of writing policy when handling private information. So private information. Line three things that in order to, to, to protect the private information of all employees, the HR department of an organization has created a policy for the employers, employees to follow and handling private information. Alright. First guideline will be sharing information should only be shared with authorized mem members of the organization. Um, example managers. Two, what else do they need to know about handling private information? It should not be um, encryption. The data... No, 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 not encryption. Because it's normal employees. It's for all employees. All employees are not going to know about encryption. Let's see. Emailing. No, no, all employees, all employees are not going to be emailing the information because it's private information. Reading or access. Reading, access, reading, access. Um, when you are handling private information, you should not share it, you should not delete it, and you shouldn't change it. Okay, sharing, amending. The information, a real grasp in here. The information should not be changed under any circumstance because it's could be a breach of privacy. I have no idea what to put for the third one. Sharing the information, amending the information, what else? Because it just says, when handling private information, what is the policy going to contain? Who you could share it with, that you can't change it, and remove all of the information. All right, remove all. The information cannot be removed and stored on any removable media. Example, USB. Damn, that's this question is weird. How did you answer this? What was it? That's one weird. I third one. I don't know. I don't know. Removal is the only one I could think of. Alright, outline three ways in which information technology has impacted the education in the last five years. Oh gosh, man. Everything is an outline here, why? <gasps> okay, one is remote learning. Remote learning students and teachers now have the ability 
to have class have classes remotely um using various voice over ip technologies example zoom well zoom was in the end 2015 but i mean it's here now two um e copy books e books text books and resources can now be um, accessed and stored electronically making it easier to access rare information and three um online testing um online testing has become easier with the ability to auto correct um multiple choice people um thus speeding up the time for getting results my problem is that this question is seven marks why seven marks which one is worth three marks i'll tell all of them because if you're doing three ways supposed to be six marks you're giving a seven mark because because you know i don't know I don't know, I don't know. All right. The protection of intellectual property is an important aspect of information technology. Define the term copyright. Okay, a copyright is a um it's called a thing by a unique um right given to a creator to um replicate, reproduce, or monetize a creation. Yeah, typically art or documents. Two difference between copyrights and patents. Um one time frame a copyright is forever while a patent is for a fixed time frame and um, um, type of item a copyright may be non-physical while a patent will be for an invention and <laughs> proceed um, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, more inventions. Copyright. I think I could say that a little better. Copyright is a artistic work. Yeah, copyright will be more maybe artistic work. While a patent would be for none. Well be for an invention. Yeah, invention or product. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, define it in plagiarism. This is the willful copying of someone else's work without giving credit to the original of the work. Straightforward and um, outline two negative implications of plagiarism. One would be a lack of creativity. Um, people would not seek to create new things just copy or modify old ones two loss of income income the original um creator would lose income because the plagiarized work may generate more revenue okay um legal yeah reputation yeah that would be cool too i think yeah i'll add that to the could be um loss of reputation reputation right consumers should be aware of the security health and safety and environmental risks associated with computer use identify one environmental risk associated with computer use um soil contamination or soil contamination because of poor disposal right outline three health and safety risks associated with extensive computer use one carpal tunnel syndrome the nerves in the wrist are damaged due due to excessive um, bending two computer vision syndrome the eyes are strained from looking at bright screens too much and three um computer addiction Persons can put down their phones or devices because they always want to be up to date things. Fear of missing out, basically. And last but not least, outline three data protection mechanisms that a company may use to secure its information assets when communicating over a network. Three data protection mechanisms. Okay, one, username and password. This ensures that only authorized users can access 
the data to encryption um, ensures that even if the data is stolen, it cannot be read. And three, a firewall, I guess. This is not like the same question though, that we do just now. Um, encryption, use any man password. Um, but this will be more like ComSci access control list and those sort of things. <laughs> I'm not too sure you can see this on the syllabus. Let me see where they say this because I am. Um, I would love to see where they have all this data. See. Module 3. Do they have these words? No, they don't. Practical practices and security measures. Actually, they have security measures. So, username and password encryption and equal access control list um, ensures only authorized users can see the information being sent. Yeah, we call that access control list. Is sometimes comes out. So, username and password encryption and access control list. Those are usually ways that you ensure that nobody should get sent. All right.